there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Alderon and I are here today to talk to you about a book that we are so, so, so hyped about. This was one of our most highly anticipated YA books of the year. It just came out last month and I was really excited to read it. I read it as soon as it came out and it did not disappoint. So I'm really hyped to share it with you guys today. I hope that it is one that if you have not heard about it before, it's going to put it on your radar and maybe give you something new to read. Um, but if you have heard of it before, and it's very likely that you have, because like I said, it's been it's been talked about. It's a very buzzy book. Um, it will maybe make you even more excited to read it. So the book that I'm talking about today is A Tempest of Tea by Faisal Hafsa. Hafsa Faisal. I said it backwards. Hafsa Faisal. A Tempest of Tea. So first of all, just look at this absolutely gorgeous cover. Like, isn't that incredible? I love the colors. I love the design of it. There's just so much going on here to look at and love. It's fantastic. So secondly, I just want to say that this author, Hafsa Faisal, is also the author of another amazing series, the We Hunt the Flame duology. Both of those books are so, so phenomenal. They came out a few years ago and they're very much beloved in the YA community. And everybody was really, really excited for this book to come out because the author's been talking about it for quite a while. And it is just absolutely amazing. So it's being described but as like a six of crows type story, but with vampires. And I'm always very nervous when I hear descriptions like that, because I feel like when a book is described as being very close to another book that's really popular, a lot of times it's not the case and it's just something that the marketing is doing to try to get people to read it. Um, but I will say in the case of this book, yes, it is it is so reminiscent of Six of Crows that it just made me so, so happy. But with vampires, which is just an even bigger bonus because I love vampires. Who doesn't love vampires, right? So if you love Six of Crows, this is a wonderful read alike. I'm going to be recommending it to everybody that loves that series because it's so, so, so very good in a lot of different ways. It's very similar. So um, this book is about a girl named Arthi who is a criminal mastermind, basically. So she operates this tea room in the city called White Roaring. And this tea room is also sort of doubles as this illegal um, blood den where vampires can come at night and have people, humans, you know, offer them blood in, in exchange. So by day it's a tea shop and by night it's secretly run as this blood room and she has to keep it hidden from the authorities because it's illegal and stuff like that so they're her her and her adoptive brother Jin run this place and there is it is now in danger of being shut down um for a variety of reasons which you'll find out when you read the book and so to get the money to be able to keep it open she has to go commit this heist basically has to break into this like the vampire elite uh society in the in this world and steal an item that is very very valuable but she can't do it alone her and jen cannot do it alone so they have to get this uh ragtag group of people to help them including a one of the city guards who um Arthi is not sure if she can trust and a uh a girl who is extremely talented at forgeries and locksmithing and stuff like that so they have to get this crew together of like I said a ragtag group of criminals together to break into this highly fortified place to steal this object and Arthi is not sure who she can trust she does not know what she's what her real motivations are somewhat deeper than what we are originally led to believe and it's just amazing so obviously the six of crows reference is yes it's about a heist it's about this city where there are a lot of criminal undertakings but it's also in the main way that it reminded me of six of crows is that this idea of found family this idea of a group of misfits coming together that have these like tragic backstories to become their own family and work together and learn to trust each other and yeah it's incredible plus like i said vampires oh my goodness and there's also like a huge twist in the story that i had no idea was coming it did not see it it hit me over the head like a two by four and it was absolutely amazing 
Love this author. Her writing is absolutely phenomenal. I thought this book was even better than the We Hunt the Flame duology, and that's saying a lot because those books are phenomenal. This book even more so. Love it. If you're looking for something unique, something fun and exciting, if you love Six of Crows, if you love stories about found families, if you love stories about heists, give this one a shot. You will not be disappointed, I promise. A Tempest of Tea. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that this book sounds really awesome and that you're super hyped to read it. If so, please feel free to come check it out from Farmington Community Library. And also thank you so very much for watching today, friends, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.